The ballooning US prison population is also assisted by three strikes laws. Beginning in the early 1990s, states began to enact mandatory sentencing laws for repeat criminal offenders, which are invoked when they commit their third offense. By 2003, more than half the states and the federal government had enacted three strikes laws. California includes non-violent felonies, like drug crimes, in their version of the law. Three strikes laws have since been toned down in 25 states, where every inmate is required to serve at least 85% of their sentence. But PORAC has contributed $100,000 to defeating a ballot initiative called Prop 36 that's aimed at requiring the third strike to be a serious felony before triggering the automatic 25-year to life sentence. The people had thought that when we voted for that law that we were going to be putting away uh, serious uh, violent criminals like murders and rapists and child molesters. We believe that three strikes is working. Uh, we saw an immediate reduction in the crime rate in California uh, in 1990, shortly after 1994 when it was passed and implemented the first time. It is true that crime has declined since three strikes went into effect in 1994, but that decline has been seen nationwide and in states that don't have the same prison overcrowding problems as California does. 327 California inmates received their third strike from a petty theft. More than 3,500 are serving a 25 to life sentence for a non-violent, non-serious crime. And more than 1,300 of those are incarcerated for a non-violent drug offense. The California State Auditor's Office estimates the cost of incarcerating these non-violent criminals under the three strikes guidelines at $7.5 billion. But PORAC and CCPOA both say that more prisons and more prison guards are the ultimate solution.